So yeah. Oh, I just noticed. Well, I, first, my computer's behaving itself at the moment, so there's no whirring fans, which is great. But you notice, Irene, as a, as a monk character, she has the ability to heal. Yet she doesn't heal. And I always found that very strange, you know, like... Because, really... Can you imagine what it would be like for these guys? Like, oh, we've just fought so hard to rescue you. We're so glad you're safe. Uh, are you okay? Do you need anything? Do you need a healing herb? Do you need a medical herb? And it's like, actually, no, I can just heal myself. And they're like, well, why the f did you not heal yourself and make our lives easier? They probably did it just because it, you know, it makes it harder. But at the same time, it's like, Jesus Christ. You know, show some common bloody sense, man. All I'm saying is that it probably didn't endear her too, too well. I've got to see where this guy goes. I've got to make sure she doesn't get killed. I'm going to do it this way. But anyway, I'm just rambling on here. Talking about real, real, you know, character motivation in a game where I'm playing as like blue haired dwarves. That's it, that's it. Get some. Oh man, no experience. Well, I think. Characters who aren't under your control still do get experience, it just doesn't state that they get experience. Either way, it's good she knocks them out. You've got to see them in action. Alright, we're good. Now I'm just going to gather my guys around here, first of all, because I want to lead the assault per my normal... Manor. Oh, I'm gonna talk to you then. Irene the monk joined the force. Okay, so she's now under our control. And unfortunately, because I didn't kill that last mage, we're going to keep on going back in there every now and then. But what can you do? Nothing really. Yeah, I'm going to kill these dudes first. Lest they sneak up on us. Give us grief. Okay, now I want to keep Irene safe. Um, I, yeah, because I think if you fail the battle, she reverts back to not being a member of your force. So. <sighs> or if she dies, does it not matter? Oh, I don't know. Don't know, don't care. All I know is I've got some fresh new booty in my force. Yeah, 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 yeah. I say that. I'm gonna smack you. I was hoping we'd see uh, the sonic wave attack there, but not to be. Okay, Grace. Is there anyone to heal? I think Haven needs him. Yeah, there we go. Gonna get some experience points. Yeah, so you know, I don't really take too many risks in my in my battle strategy. You may think it's a bit dull, but at the beginning of the game, you know, they're just easing you into it. So it's once you get to the later battles, around about sort of like chapter, th 
chapter three. I mean, actually, no. Grace could die right now, and that would be that would be not nice. So it seems that I have I have taken it too far. I've made a, a schoolboy error. I've baited the enemies when I didn't want to bait them. Yeah, you run. You run, turd burglar. Alright, we're gonna need to... Oh, actually, let's see. I think Grace can move before these dudes. Yes, that's right, because I gave her the quick chicken! Quick chicken is an item that can increase... You know what, I'm gonna just toast this brother right here. Quick chicken is an item that increases your agility, makes you move sooner. Some people like to focus all their stat increase items on, on the heroes and stuff, but I personally have no problem with... Uh, Spreading them out to where they're needed the most. Strong team rather than strong individuals. And Irene will get more health by doing this. Uh, more experience by doing this. But as you can see, only four damage. She's she's really rather weak. And that's kind of the problem at this point in the game. You'll see it because we recruit a few other characters or a couple of other characters in this chapter, and it's really the same old story. It's, they're, um, you know, they're not bad, but they just, you know, they just are too weak. They just get, they just get their asses handed to them really easily. And you have to really manage them with the characters. Huh? But, So I just want to be quiet so you could hear the ta. Uh, that that's a sterling example of voice acting. I I, I expected his voice to be a, a tad more manly. To be perfectly honest with you. Can you hear me? So what was I saying? Yeah. And so like at this point in the game, the characters you recruit, you you can become biased against them, you can become prejudiced against them. You can think, oh man, this person sucks. But, you know, they're, li they're like, you know, they're like delicate flowers, you know, you, you have to treat them right, and if you do, they will blossom, and I've got to watch out for this mage, because he can cause some damage to us. <laughs> well, what can you say about that other than that's my boy? Alright, yeah, I, I definitely have to be careful because if this mage comes forward, we're in trouble. Oh, no, that's right, I need to keep the right away from them. Yeah, I'm probably going to heal now. Just make sure, you know. I don't... You can really get caught with your pants down sometimes. <laughs> 